Hello, this is Christina, the amputee OT. In this video, I am going to talk about what it feels like to wear a prosthetic. Greta, come here, hop, hop. Good girl. It's actually really hard to describe exactly what it feels like to walk on a prosthetic leg. It's probably kind of like trying to describe what it feels like to walk in shoes to somebody who's never worn shoes. How do I even describe it? If you've ever worn one of those air walker boots or a cast, you sort of know what it feels like to walk on a prosthetic leg because it kind of feels like you're walking on a cast. I wore one of those air walker boots before I got my leg amputated and the feeling is not completely dissimilar, so it sort of feels like that. Uh, it also kind of feels a little bit like wearing boots with really thick soles in that you don't really have a whole lot of feeling of what's on the ground. If you're wearing really thin shoes that have flexible heels like this one, uh, if you step on a rock or something, you can feel that there's a rock underneath your feet. And you can't feel that when you're wearing a prosthetic because you don't have a foot. Most of the weight bearing of a prosthetic occurs on your patella tendon, which is this tendon right here in your knee. And a lot of the weight you bear through the sides of your leg like this. So it kind of feels like when you walk, you're wearing something really tight around your leg right about here. But it also feels sort of tight on the entire leg, kind of like this. If you were to interlace your hands and press against your leg like this, that is where all of the weight is when you're walking on your prosthetic. If you're bottoming out in your socket, which is when the bottom of your stump hits the bottom of the socket, it kind of feels like you're putting your fist into your leg like this and digging your ankles up into your bone and then walking on that. So if you guys out there in YouTube land want to sit like this and put a lot of pressure on your leg and relax your muscles, that's kind of what it feels like when you're bottoming out in the bottom of your stump. It's not really very comfortable. The socket itself feels like a solid leg shaped tube that slides that your leg slides into. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Well, I, I tried to think about it and I was just like, I don't even know how to describe it. When I'm walking in my prosthetic, it kind of feels like I'm walking on a stilt on this leg, except that since I can still feel my foot, it also sort of feels like I'm walking on my foot. What's really interesting is that my phantom foot feels like it's shortened. It kind of feels like it's out here, so it's actually not as long as this. So when I look at this, I kind of get the impression that this is way too long for me, even though it's actually not. And at the same time, it sort of feels like my foot is stuck inside the shoe or stuck inside the prosthetic foot. If you've ever worn a knee-high boot and laced it up really tight, that's kind of how it feels to wear a prosthetic. Greta, do you know what it's like to walk in a prosthetic? Hey! Hey! Get back up here! What are you doing? What are you doing? Greta, Greta, do you know what it's like to walk in a prosthetic? <laughs> hey, why are you interfering with my video? Okay, now this video has turned into a video about dogs. <laughs> are you guys taking over my video? <laughs> All right, so maybe I can't really describe what it feels like to walk in a prosthetic. Here's my challenge. I challenge you to try to find a way to describe what it feels like to walk in shoes to your imaginary friend who has no feet. It's really hard. When I do this, my leg kind of moves inside my prosthetic. I don't have empty space inside my prosthetic, and my leg's moving around inside the empty space. My bone is moving around inside the soft tissues, kind of like this. When I, when I bend my knee, I can feel the back part of my prosthetic on the back of my leg like this. It's kind of like walking on a stilt, but it's not really like walking on a stilt. I would probably feel like I was walking on stilts more if I was double below knee, but since I'm not and I only have one indication, it's sort of like walking on a stilt on one leg and walking on your organic leg on the other leg, 
and having them be both the same length at the same time. What's really weird is when my leg is off and I wiggle my leg around, it doesn't feel light anymore, although it feels light, the lightness doesn't feel wrong. And when I'm wearing my prosthetic, it feels heavy, but the heaviness feels like that's the way it's supposed to be. A lot of people have asked me if the liner gets really hot, and to be honest, it doesn't get really hot, and I kind of expected it to get hotter than it does. I think the reason for that is, since I don't have a foot anymore, and a lot of sensory nerves are located in your feet, and there's not really a whole lot of sensory nerves located on your legs, it just doesn't really feel hot anymore. I think that if I had a foot and you tried to have a socket liner that had a foot in the bottom of it and I rolled that on, I probably would get really hot because my foot would be hot. The liner surprisingly isn't hot even when it gets sweaty. Sometimes I feel like it's sweaty on the inside, but I don't really feel the sweat in my stump. I sort of feel the sweat at the edge of the liner. Sometimes if I'm sitting like this with my knee bent, my stump starts throbbing and I'm pretty sure that's because my tibial artery is getting a little compressed and so it's causing the blood flow to be partially blocked, but that really doesn't happen when I'm walking. You notice when I am sitting, this knee is shorter than this knee, which is really weird. The first time I sat down, that surprised me, but when I stand, my legs are the same length. All right guys, that was really hard for me to explain, but I hope that you at least have some idea about what it feels like to walk into a prosthetic. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Subscribe if you like, and have a good one. Bye-bye!